Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues in which we, I have early access here to share with you um, to the next update 5.0 Ashes to Embers in which we are going to play as the Stoon Dandies. I do want to say at the very beginning though here uh, thank you very much to the Old World Blues developers for giving me early access to explore all a lot of the new countries or at least the countries that have focus trees in the north here but we will begin uh, with a pretty experienced army, which is very cool. Ten com with, not bad. Uh, let's see, we do have some power armor. Ooh. Let's take a look. See, so we've got Dr. Toboggan, intelligent, he's agile, intelligent, agile, Bea, cool. Uh, let's see, you're actually the same, so I don't think there's going to be a huge difference for us here. We're going to separate you guys away, though, and you'll be under Sir Griffin. But yes, I'm very excited to, to uh, play this. It's been a while since we've had an Old World Blues update at the time of this recording, and yeah, I can't wait to see what happens. But we're led by Pierre Solomon, which I'll read in a little bit, but I would like to start with a focus tree, where the river runs red. Stoon was not always such a nice place to be, and let's be honest, it still isn't. Followed up with the Dandies. The Dandelion Society brought the fires of civilization to the old tribe, for better or for worse. But we've got to talk about a nation of comrades. Or, <clears throat> I mean cannibals. In the winding alleys of Stoon lay many dejected men and women, their lives spent rotting away in dun-dern factories and steel mills. As the wheels of industry turn, these people will be left behind in favor of a new generation, such as a succession of business. Those <clears throat> that were not conquered by the fires of forward-thinking men fell victim to the grand raffles, a dreadful affair that determined who was to be a feast for the neighbors. Blood ran in the streets of Stoon just as much as rainwater did, and though it was not gnashing teeth that left their mark anymore, the same spirit of the hunt flowed through them all. Those lucky enough to be granted a mercy token would be spared in a raffle, their meaningless lives allowed to continue, plinking on without being a meal for the nobles. Stoon was a city of blood drinkers under the Dandelion Society, and they wore that title proudly. The other electors hated them for it, but they knew that disagreeing with the nobility was a quick way to find a knife in your gut, or worse. So... Many local facilities bowed to them out of fear. Ooh. The dandies placed their faith in guns. Foreign legions would be their ally. We get mercenaries, or we get two arms workshops. Well, um, that's a good question. Hmm. Because I, I, honestly, I have no idea what this is like. What goes on may, in fact, come back around. Ooh. So, let's see. Cutting back on cannibalism. Hmm. And we have, can get civilization, or passing the haunch. Well, obviously, we have to go both paths eventually, but... Ooh, weekly manpower goes up. Festival of the Old Blood. Versus promote livestock. Throw a barbecue every week. Three to throw bar barbecue. Prince Albert. Prince Albert save a population. Huh. Oh, Order of the St. George. Daniel of Wadena. I believe... I see in Christ. I believe in mankind. The day no doves did sing. Matthew 5 9. Ooh. Or we go with How to Win Friends and Influence People. Part 1. What? Oh, God. There's, there's, there's so many. There's quite a few different paths. I like this. Passing the haunch within what made Stoon focus chains. Why I am likely the luckiest man alive. Oh, this is cool. Here's Sonnet. Dandelion Republic of Saskatchewan. Well, I do know we have we, fairies. Um, the Slayer of Bea, the first. I do like that we do have power armor. And I'm going to be honest, I'm a sucker for whatever route we can keep and take power armor. Power. Armor. Okay, no, no power armor. armor. Oh, I spelled armor wrong. Well, this gives you more defense. Psalm 19, 119, 114. Well, we're still going to go with this one. I like arms workshops. So we're going to the dandies and the old blood of Stoom. The old tribes of Stoon have done their best to survive in the electorate terrain. Now they're paying the price for it. Bay of the First. Members of the Blizzard. Less defense. This seems very offensive. Does not exist. Dundurn. Huh. Consult Leshy. The legacy of Timothy Littlehope. Well, years ago, a man by the name of Timothy Littlehope graduated from Chase University. With endorsements from Dr. Gloria Chase herself, he rose to quick stardom with many of his political talks being broadcast across the electorate abroad. Its philosophies, now coined as a little hope doctrine, were simple. Man can do no good by themselves. It's only the greater mass can anything be achieved. To make an ideal of your livelihood, to live as though a course of your own blood, to give yourself wholly to a concept, that was a way to make one's life easier. Its teachings became especially popular among the poor, and when the aristocrats caught one, they latched onto it. 
personalities, came out of the wind in droves, gathering followers like never before, radical ideas, questions about the human's condition, pondering on what was and what was not to be prevailed above the common good. While his death was but a year ago, his teachings have only grown in popularity. The elector now bursting into the seams of the new generation of radicals. Will his teachings prevail above sense? Interesting. Okay. Let's see, what is her path like? Defense on court and territory and whatnot. Um, before we talk about that, super mutant defense. You get mutants. Interesting. Very offensive, very muty. Lessons of the outsiders. Interesting. The Dandelion Society. Everyone who has heard of the Dandelion Society, though most have come to know them as the Dandies, the cannibalistic aristocrats who have been allowed to fester and stew thanks to the immense wealth and friends in high places all around the electorate, their hands deeply entrenched within the pockets of both Dundurn industrialists and Pleasant Dale socialites alike. Though their schemes throughout history have been so, so subtly infamous, no more so dastardly as the ones the current figurehead has been hatching. Pierre Solomon was considered an up-and-comer among the Dandies despite being in his later thirties and having been an active member for much of their modern history. It was the most recent election held across the electorate that he had secured for himself a position as a hierarch of the many noble families, giving them a renewed respect and a higher life than any wayside could hope to dream of. <clears throat> but he knew that while it was, it was earned, it was flimsy. He would need to play his cards for more of the correctly if he was to keep this throne, and he had to make some risks. Whether or not they paid off, however, was still to be determined. Pierre was a guy, though, through and through. So, cornering the letterman, huh? Practicing a little respect for conservative man-eating. The death of the other person. Yeah, hmm. It's the great stampedes, battlefields. But then you have these. These? This. You get the core stuff? Yeah. Claims and war goal. Ooh, I kind of like this knightly path. You create our own faction? Manifest Saskatchewan. That sounds like a fun path to do. Create create Saskatchewan? So, I haven't even looked at this part yet. Okay, oh my god. A grand wedding, oh. A wedding between Pierre Solomon of the Dandelion Society and Bay of the Stoon Tribes is set to bring about a new age of prosperity and grandeur to Electra. That is, of course, assuming. All goes according to plan, the tribes. The old blood of Stoon consists of various degenerated locals of Saskatoon, Saskatoon, the same that once fought in the Saskatchewan Flesh Wars many years ago, the numerous minor tribes that conglomerated over many years of encroaching civilization, becoming a group desperately attempting to retain relevance as more and more of the youth turned away to think things like joining the Dandelion Society or running out to play the Dundurn Elite. The figure out. A woman named Bea remained famed in the electorate for being the first known person to venture into the gateway, gateway Scarlet Blizzard and survive, though she had undoubtedly been changed by the experience. Her strength was feared and intelligence was beyond respected. While her cannibalism proved to be unpopular with most, her legendary status left her with renowned as a hero to the twisted peoples of the Catch. In recent times, however, the people have fallen victim to a strange blight, leaving the tribes vulnerable. Pierce Saltman, looking to exploit her fame, made her a deal she couldn't refuse. He would provide a cure by any means necessary if she would agree to be his wife. Bea was left without a choice. The Knights of Yore. Let me ask you something. When you made it your mission to prove your homeland's greatness above all other things, what do you do when that homeland forsakes you? Throw out you out to the gutter? Forces you to live in what was once enemy territory? Conspiring against the dandies. The lettermen and the old tribes of Stoom both hate Pierre Solomon and more than just about anything. Given the chance, and if timing was right, they would stand a benefit greatly from ceasing power. A thousand daggers behind one man. The Spectral Cabal, visiting the chapels. The Spectral Cabal is famed for strange chapels. Uh, more like strange carner clubs with decadent decorum. Eerie regenerative technologies derived from ancient manifest hardware littered those various pools, giving them a healing property like no other. The Cabal claimed that it was the work of a wolf god that saw this come to fruition. Whatever the case may be, they are incredibly helpful. Purchasing Lucifers The Cabal has many of the Lucifer merchants in their pocket, and Lucifers can have as many healing properties as they do destructive. What, do, what say we don't make some re recreational use of some? Restoring, humoring the Cabal. I get more political power like that. Uh, prying, oh, prying open their libraries. Participate in war ritual. And of course, all the military stuff. Uh, begin a scavenging program. Um, do I want to do that? Nah, we can do it for now. Organizational stuff, which could buy goods, which would be important to do. Interesting. Okay, cool. Conspiring against the dandies. Okay, so Pierre Solomon, similar by trade, Pierre, if not that really is his name, has proven to be much like a cockroach. With several suspicious deaths, like P Pierre managed to become the electorate of Warren, a war man, and Grandora. Separately, the strange power base all but guarantees his victory. It is still rumors of fraud. Pierre has attempted to recently move past his schmuck post, past, and drag the electorate into the future whether they like it or not. Radio Freedom? My name is General Freedom, and you're listening to Freedom Radio. I come to you with a real big important message. The Stooners will eat your babies. That's right, folks. I've seen it with my own eyes. Gobble the little guys up like it was just a bag of roast brahmin. I'll tell you what. Now, I'm not a violent mutant, but I do think that babies are sovereign creatures that deserve nothing but love and respect, not being eaten. I've only ever eaten a handful of humans in my life, but unlike those dandelion guys, I have my limits. 
They may well eat your babies too. If you kept letting them boss you around, did you marry these bozos? I don't think so. Unless she's wake. The death of Dunder. Old Green Eye, the living mist. Her titles were many, but it was one, the one whispered by children that prevailed. A pre-war creature of the legend that had been her namesake, Fleshy. A snake bigger than a hundred sheds, with rattles that cla clattered like thunder that could be heard twenty miles out. Her breath was a horrible radioactive gas, capable of melting a human's skin off within seconds. And her fangs had impaled as many as a dozen people at a time. Wow. Yet, every few decades, she would erupt from a long slumber, ravaging the earth and killing hundreds in her wake. The old front did well to fear her, but the collector had lost their touch. When she ravaged Waka, uh, Waka and Pleasantdale, they learned the mistake, and so General Pariah Hockmoon gathered a troop of spark blades and met her at Strasbourg. She lit her cigarette as she detonated eight tons of bombs underneath the great snake, sending her reeling back into the great north for now. Even after her departure, her carnage scars the minds of the survivors in her sheddings uh, litter the roads. Though they carry with them great resources, it'll take time to heal from the damage she left in her wake. Will her terror return and recover from Lushy? Look at that. More resource efficiency game. You lose consumer goods, worse construction speed, but a little more resources. Interesting. And then, what goes around may back come back around. Beer schemes may catch up to him after all, but it remains to be seen. The lettermen are a group of knights heralding from the lands of Manitoba. Exiled under false pretenses and refusing to relinquish their knights' titles, or titles as knights, <clears throat> they fled to catch, where they remain scattered. Many still serve God as best they can, fighting as wayward swords, yet some turn to mercenary work after the disappearance of the Grand Master, however. Many fell to despair, until Pierce Sullivan approached Sir Griffin, their most respected senior knight. <clears throat> He promised they would do anything in his power to aid the knights, so as long as they served him forevermore as protectors and enforcers. The knights were disgusted with his offer. How could a cannibal, let alone an aristocrat, expect Yorkton's finest to do his dirty work? And yet they had accepted, for they feared choice B, extermination. Many knights had already begun carving out, carved out of their armor by Pariah, Hawkmoon of Dunder, and their colleagues. They wouldn't chance another such incident. Pierre would live to regret it. So then, the Great Stampede. Can we go to war with them? I want to go to war with them. Can I beat them up? Oh. Two units of heavy stone travels will spawn in Duck Lake. The responsibility is a stone. What goes on under our feet? Is this a nightkin? Deeper than the asylum. Um, Radio Freedom. Put down the megalomaniac. Oh, stone freedom. Oh, cooperate with general freedom. We have engaged in proper medical care for a nightkin. The responsibility is a stone. The fires of Dundurn. Hawk munitions. Muravyov entertainment. Clean water, clean ideals. Pleasantdale, a place where you can leave it all behind. Invest in fairy kind. Invest in red fern. Shut down the fairy program. Interesting. Oh, and there's this one too. The green-blooded patriot. General Freedom is the current country leader. Ah. Cutting back on cannibalism and what made Stoon focus chains. Oh. Cutting, so this one you cut back. And what made Stoon... What made Stoon... Third of St. George. So we have four different paths we can take here. Holy cow. Humans are mutants too. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. The sons and daughters of freedom. Toboggans. Genius. Squad automatic weapons. Interesting. There's so much here. I love this. I love the devs are just so good at what they do. President of the Free Canadians. Americanada. Virtuals Community Drives. Stratagems. Can you remake Canada with this? State of the Union. Diplomacy. Freedom generally. Daily compliance. <clears throat> I kind of want to make Saskatchewan, though. Well, let's take a look-see. Conspiring against the dandies. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Pierre's particular grips had angered many of his supposed allies. The Letterman's knights excel from Manitoba. I find the position under his boot to be as dishonorable and distasteful as he was working for Saint himself. And would gladly kill the uncalling master if given it a chance. On the other end of things, the honorable wife of Pierre, Bea, would do anything in her power to dispose of the Dandelion Society and bring back the old ways of her tribes folk. Who would see the coup through? Tell Yorkton we're coming home. Oh, we'll go with that one. Okay, so I need to remember. Uh, we, we were not always such ragged castaways. Once, our armor shined as bright as a moon and we held such valor to as we considered born of God. That got a lot of pee-pee. Okay, so we have the special cabal. A spectral cabal are a group of high society individuals originating from Pleasantdale. Having experienced the same mutations from Redfern usage, mass destabilization or stabilization, their proud in packs, mewing po po poetic ideas and indulging drugs. Recently, prophetic dreams have haunted the cabal, illustrating a woman they call St. Lake, a chapel of healing resembling a familiar abandoned facility not too far out from the city. 
but what has been reaped surely shall be sown. Despite Pierre's hopes and dreams, Black Moon never ended well for anybody. Both Bea and Sir Griffin found no loyalty to his cowardly figure and would gladly take the chance to rent his flesh if an opportunity was to be found. But they would have to begin now. Pierre's paranoia spurs him to hide from the public view as best he can and to await such an operation could prove to be dangerous. A wedding between Bea and Pierre was to happen in roughly six months. If a plan could be enacted in that time, why, it'd be a perfect target, wouldn't it? Would it? In your decisions, a choice be to begin a coup as a letterman or Bea will be present. Cool. So we got all this. Enforce the silver path. Um, I like, I don't like losing stability, but we get more war support. Manpower would be nice. I want to go to war. That's what I want. But whatever. Mm, it seems like this will help us out quite a bit. Resource efficiency gain and construction speed. Read pastures. Off map workshops. I like the workshops. The workshops are nice. You get workshops here. Medical care. Deep within the asylum. Radio freedom. Has not completed. A green bloodied patriot. Is that the one on here? Yeah. So you can't go with that and that. So this one unlocks cutting back on cannibalism and what made student. So this one. You all have to do this one when we do this one. Daniel of Wadena. So I guess we'll do what goes on under our feet. Birdshell's insane asylum was built by Toboggan to help the Nightkin recover from their ailments. The Dandies had other plans. Well, let's take a look see. Mr. High Command. Happiness, huh? People, cooperate with general freedom. You lose max entrenchment. Land out attacks not bad, though. Attacking division speed. So we have Freedom's Army. General Freedom. The old blood of Stoom, Bayo. We're up under the elites. And then there's a ruler. So we do want more ruler, I guess. There's all this good stuff like normal. Uh, what do we have here? Dr. Toboggan. Head of the asylum. Oh, God. There's so much to read here. I love that these people have, like, or these characters have... Backstories. I love it, love it, love it. Soft attack, piercing, production costs, and production efficiency retention. Very nice. Anything standing tall. People. Cooperate to serve man. Use monthly population. Get, back, get competitor consumer goods. More political power. Ooh, I'm a sucker for PP. I love PP. Compliance growth speed. That's pretty good, too. Faithful henchman. I like that. Little skill bonus. Ooh. Resistance target goes down. I do like the person in the community still. I probably want to go with Lucas Travis for herself. So I'll go with this one. Um, do we want to help them or not? Promote livestock. Mutant funded. Oh, we can't do this one if you. If you uh, General Freedom is country leader. Interesting. After this one, I go through the responsibilities of Stoom. Our responsibility as Grand Elector is amusing, yet we mustn't forget it lest people harden their gazes. Dan's blessings. Banishing Nerdy Wells, the Duck Lake Massacre. I like massacres. Well, as long as I'm not the one getting massacred, I guess, you know. <coughs> so I like PP. Same out of the There you go. It's not much, but it, it'll be a start for us. So then we'll do the memories before those before us. Gather wayward in this roundabout. Many of the knights of yesteryear now wander the lecture up, banished from their own home, and trapped in an enemy's hole. Lesser men would accept theirs to be their end. <coughs> uh. But Manitoba Proud should never be so down on the luck to this end. We shall issue a decree. An invitation to all that is good within the demence. The knife shall ride again through hell and high water. Ooh. That's fine. What happened to the Daniel of Wadena? Once, Daniel of Wadena stood as a fearless titan against his, this wicked enemies of York, uh, Lord Yorkton. Now his fate is mystery. I'll look at that. Um, yeah, if you believe him dead, if indeed he has survived all these years, returning to him to the full will surely re regalvanize the fencers and non-believers in action once again. We shall conduct a thorough investigation, checking upon every rumor and turning every stone until we find the fate of Daniel once and for all. Ooh. The Chase family tatters. Just near the northern Saskatchewan River, the body of Maxwell Chase was found hanging from a tree branch by a white birch society huntsman <clears throat> in life. He was the founder of the modern Pleasantdale and co-creator of the fairy program. With the help of Dundon workers, he brought many qualities of life changes to life in the lecture, including widespread television, though perhaps his most famous was his Spices in Every Kitchen memoir, where he gave extended rants on unsalted meats. Ooh. On his deceased personage was a manifesto detailing his attention of suicide, which remains unreleased to the general public. Don't we all have one? In the meantime, to keep the peace on Pleasant Dale's personal assistant, Hope, has begun to assess his only living child, Frankie Chase. Hope's relation to destiny has caused him to question, but advisors close to Chase in his life state, she's acting with sound mind and worrying just is just his wasted energy. And that's so pleasant, after all, as we do have a drink here, that nice little monster, ultra peachy keen. 
to keep me caffeinated and able to not sleep at night. But the whispers from Butch Hills. But the raffles were not enough to feed the high echelons. To ring the populace further, would Jeff Fudd's nation's good sense of industry, or worse, make their dining habits even more vain? So, a deal was arranged with Dr. Shane Toboggan, a genius mutant and graduate from Chase University. His Nike asylum at Butch Hills and its mutant populace became open to the student nobles who had a growing scheme amongst them. Could mutants be effective livestock? With the amount of FAV that their doctor claimed manifest at store, could they double or perhaps triple their meat value in any given head? The possibilities made them froth of the mouth, but first they would need to ensure the asylum's welfare after all. A lab without substance was no good lab at all, and they would need to look into ways to break down the tough texture. Green meat, blue meat, whatever it would be, it would have to come from Birch Hill's insane asylum. Let's try using his biofuel first. Ooh. What are we missing here for resources? We're actually doing well on resources. The military presence around Birch Society's key. Interesting. We get manpower too, which is, we can still use that. Uh, we should emphasize caring for the Nightkin. This seems like you should do that route if you want to go with the, the leader here, maybe. General Freedom. <coughs> yeah. Um. Do we want to eat them? Uh, do we... Do we want to eat them? I don't think we want to eat them. Gets cores on Dundurn. I like that. Cleanliness is second to godliness. A lot of gentry. Beneficial heresy. Um. Yeah. Biofuel. Military. I like the military one. Caring. God says we should care for them. Should we? Should we care for them? I don't know if I should care for them. Well, I guess we, we are going to do the Land of Thieves and Murderers. The Outcasted Brigade. Yeah. I don't want people to support, though. Unless we fought for King and Country. He has told you, old man, what is good and what is the, does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to do kindness and to walk humbly with a god Micah 6 8 in the days of yore we rode and fought by fire and sword for our lord both of the divine and upon this heavenly earth thousands of monsters masquerading as men filled our righteousness across many decades until the aristocrats of Manitoba turned the gaze to us and our marshal Lord Yorkton was forced to disband the knights for they feared a coup thanks to his grandeur and we went from being heroes to exiles overnight despite all we had sacrificed all we had given king and country we were forced to run from the very same home we threw ourselves upon the sword for him. Now we dwell in our ancient enemies' homelands, avoiding the gaze and making a living however we can. Pierre Solomon thinks he can goad us into being his personal army, as if we were such a militia to be misguided. No, we are the Knights of Yorkton. We will stand for no evil, it's against our nature. We shall make arrangements, yes. Indeed, we shall make arrangements. The king and student shall learn what it means to be taught God's chosen. Fear the man who has no faith. And uh, 15, manpower. I like the manpower. Theft of the Grand Gallery. Ooh, and we do have... Oh, hold on. Did I make a mistake here? Or... Not do something I should have. And that is... Do we actually have a trade node? Did I, I did not pay attention. We actually have a trade node. Look at that. I should have done this earlier. Oh my gosh. There you go. Yay. Fantastic. God, thank you. And once again... Uh, also, like, I should have said this earlier. But there might be bugs and issues uh, with uh, this campaign, maybe. The, potentially, you never know. It's early access. I should have said that in the very beginning. Uh, but still, thank you to the devs. Thank you so much to the devs. I appreciate this so much, and this is awesome. I love it. Love it, 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 love it. Old Blues devs are some of the best devs. Holy for has, just in general, you know. The amount of care and love they put in this mod, fantastic. Let's see, which way do we want to go? I'm not sure these were updated either. Maybe they were. The land auction, I don't think they were, but I could be wrong. Well, we're going to be knights, so... I think Refined Warfare would be the best one to do. I'll start working on it. News from Stampede, Mr. Solomon. Well, I don't imagine you remember me. I have remembered you for a very long time. Do you still remember when the moon set over Stoon and the howls of the tribesmen sent over the horizon? When men and women with gun and club stormed the streets, letting blood run richly through the drain? You took a step too far in sending brigands into your land. To this, my response is simple. Rivers of red are what I offer you. Turn back to your wretched city and forget our people. Utter our name again and invoke our wrath, and you'll count yourself lucky, if there even is a pace of you left. After all, being a stoner, you should know that my tribe was taught not to waste a single part. If you follow my meaning, 
Send us your left canine so that I may wear it as a trophy or perhaps a toast to your failures. If I do not see it soon, then consider us as your enemies. You will be dealt exactly what you deserve. Amy Lee Sundell. Come here. Cute. Here, I got a canine for you. Yeah, come and take it or something. Oh, can we actually fight these guys? The couple. I have a little bit of manpower. They got quite a few divisions. We have six. And you're definitely going to be a uh, pain train. <coughs> Excuse me. And you are going to be uh, inspirational. And you're going to be the guy. If we had enough command power for that. Um, I have no idea. So, of course, we have our allies. And that would help defend us, right? One, two, three, four. I'm only worried that, if, at the worst case, you have three divisions or three tiles you have to defend. I'm trying to make more power armor. Uh, you know, come and take it or something? Uh, we could try that. See what happens. Gather the wayward and roundabout. Hmm. Whatever happened to Daniel Well, Daniel? An emperor of eyes, explosive device is not something I would traditionally describe as godly, but in such extreme cases as this, we must find providence in whatever we can. Sir Daniel's very life is on the line. We do the same for any of us, says Sir Griffin. So you're telling me we gotta actually get through all these stuff first. Reclamation authority, huh? So maybe I shouldn't have gotten the extra political power first. Hmm. Well, we'll see when we get there. Take heed of our responsibilities. Our elector was always a volatile place. Dundurn's machines rivaled that of pre-war tech magnates, and their industrial barons held many stakes with the cross cash. And pleasant dales. Experiments roam the land without issue while the people drink their sorrows away in extravagant parties. Dealing with them was no easy task, but it's not an impossibility. You know we stand, or however it goes. Oh, that's good. Uh, construction speed, deeper than the asylum. I don't want to lose stability yet, so... Go to refugees. Even though I think that's disabled by... at the start anyways. Well, the fires of Dunder. Dunder's always had a place where people with dead hearts go to let them choke in the ash. It's a industrial backbone of the electorate, but it's no true home, regardless. The longer we keep its fire stoked, the better our odds remain. What was discovered? Nets have been sent all around the electorate to pursue enemy, pursue every loose uh, end they could find pertaining to the brethren, no matter how small or large they may be, until they found the news they have been looking for. The Daniel of Wadania is not dead. He remained in a dungeon prison, a saint now reduced to a victim of the electorate's cruelty soon. A move shall be made to retrieve him from the prison, but the matter of how it remained heavy on Sir Griffin's mind. Subtlety would be key. Unlock said decision to quietly retrieve Daniel from Allen Hill's penitentiary, where knights were no folly. Uh, unlocks a set of decisions to breach Allen Hill's penitentiary in search of Daniel. Let's go with subtlety. A man on the inside. A contact within the prison will be most important of our endeavors. There are many friends of Yorkton in these lands. Surely this is but one sympathizer we can contact. Acquiring disguises. The Dunder Mongrels wear bastardized versions of our own armor. Like Hunter would wear his greatest game as a cloak. Though they may have remolded it to fit their sniveling forms, it was Yorkton steel that forged that armor and it recognizes its true masters even now. Getaway vehicle. The criminal mobs within Dunder are now without their peculiarities. With retrofitted cartridges and even automobiles, they act as dark riders within the night. Uh, to secure one, which will surely guarantee uh, a safe elope from the prison. Prison break. <coughs> Alan Hill shall fall before the might of the chosen god, and the sinners who dare to bow to tyrant shall meet their end by Sir Griffin's own. Thief or theft at Grand Gallery. Just last night, strange armored men cloaked in hoods broke into the Grand Gallery Pleasantdale, eloping with a near pristine suit of armor belonging to Sir Daniel of Wadena, a deceased knight of Yorkton, who fought in the War of the First Republican Coalition, the Chase Dynasty, promises to find the perpetrators and to see to it that the armor is restored to its rightful place in the gallery by year's end. So shiny. Fantastic. Who did it? No one may ever know. Honestly, if they're going to do that, it's still ahead of time, so we can't do any of this stuff yet, really. Uh, I'll grab this one, I guess. Are they actually going to attack us? I hope not. That would be really bad for us. And who's trying to take us over? 120 days, any more manpower, any of our factories, so. Dundurn wants to be the leader, but we say no for now. Also, are we missing anything here? We are missing motorized vehicles, which is normal. Press the brake. <coughs> when do we break out of prison? I don't know. That's a good question. 
the Great Stampede. The Great Stampede, a colossal conglomeration of nomad, tribals, and all other manners of social rejects. It shows us from the armies of the CPF, though it has little to offer us otherwise. <clears throat> And times as recent as months ago, they began preparations to stick up the north, to bid a claim to the lands as their own. We can't allow that to happen, of course. Construction basics. Flex of the Blight. Happy June, everybody. Um, what are technology levels? We're pretty mid on everything. Power armor's mid as well. We have nothing for robotics. Vehicles are sucky. So, we'll still go with uh, this route here. Uh, I would like to prioritize consumer technology because we're going to need that extra stability now. Oh, yay, 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 The files are done, done. Good. Uh, if anything, I want you here. At least every tile needs at least one power armor division. At least one. And can you do anything here? We really care about max planning. would be nice. Reinforce rate's not bad. Ooh, equipment capture ratio would be pretty good in the beginning, though. Hmm... You know what, go and reinforce first. <clears throat> oh, I'll do that one too. I'm gonna be there. That's fine. Great Stampede. Yeah. Is there anyone else I would like to get first? Usually, when I play the generic Old World Blues nations, I always go with a uh, person in the community. I won't go for this person because I always get them. But there's other people I want to get here too, maybe if it's possible. So. <coughs> so, a Nikon mental, mental crisis. The Nikon and wa Waka require a lot of hands to keep them where they belong. Tobaga may do his best without intervention on her behalf. The odds are not in their favor. What is this? Um, the legacy of Timothy Leitch. Little Hope. Timothy Little Hope. Like earlier. The Little Hope doctrine remains fresh in people's minds even after his passing. The people are galvanizing their own cliques, cliques working against each other with a pointless hatred growing in their hearts. The Ballad of Sir Daniel. A day is come. The wedding between Pierre Solomon of the Dandelion Society and the Bay of the Old Tribes of Stoom was to be held within the Third Avenue United Church just before dusk so that the moon's grace would fall upon the undoubtedly star-crossed lovers. Among the festivities was the finest, most exquisite of pastries and drinks, wines aged within white court for decades in exotic little red firm based cannolis, surrounding an unusually tall seven-tiered cake after the vows were exchanged and God had been witness to the unholy sanctimony. Sir Daniel Bladina burst forth from the cake, his armor covering his batter and its batter. <clears throat> And frostings he leapt outwards. Pia and his guests were too shocked to do anything as he merely trudged through the cake filled boots. Grabbing Solomon firmly by the shoulders, he plunged his great sword into the politician's black heart. Just as the nobles realized what was about to happen, the letterman guards turned on the guests, slicing through the cannibal nobility as a farmer would pluck wheat. By the time it was over, the walls and floors were covered in blood, and their Yorkton blues became stoon scarlets. Pierre got his just desserts. Fantastic. Uh, Grandmaster of the Order of St. George. More war sport. Oh, Special Forces Capacity Multiplier. Fantastic. In the day of, inf of infamy. Today, all those who care of themselves Canadians mourn the great tragedy of our history. The day that we considered our closest brothers betrayed us and stole our freedom. <clears throat> the American invasion of Canada over 200 years ago was a brutal and bloody affair that none were spared from. Today, we remember those that were taken from us by the atrocities of the invaders and remember the proud nation that once set an example to the rest of the world. O Canada, who was slain unjustly by the hand of tyrants, shall you ever rest in peace in, in, in our memories, lest we forget. Recovering from Leshy. Yeah, months ago, a colossal mutated rattlesnake snake tore through our country. Recovery teams worked to rebuild what was destroyed and salvage what we can from her sheddings she left behind. Tear for leaf. For the Pro Bono Act. Oh. Oh, so we can't do this anymore. Oh, are we no longer allied? No, we're not. So now we are by ourselves. So anything else here? Nice to remember. Grand wedding. Cool. I like more stability, please. The election was rigged. <clears throat> the last election for the grand electorate was fraught with controversy and discussion. For decades, the Dundurn estate had the title. The industrial populace and the might of the Spark Blades giving them a great stake in the vote. It was met with great surprise when the Daniels of Stoon won this inside, instead this time, spurring the likes of Timothy Little Hope and Gloria Chase to stand in power within their demands. But recent news indicates that suspicions were in fact correct. Pierre Solomon conspired with several other notorious nobles other than Stoon to rig the election in their favor and undermine Dundurn once and for all. Already bloodthirsty riders were lingering in the streets. Democracy was sabotaged? No, it would never be sabotaged. And the Order of St. George. 
Oh, the Order of St. George was outcasted from their homes, or homeland, by the filthy bureaucrats. Now, strangers in the mad lands of Stu, and they seek to establish a new foothold for their faith, and with luck to rejoin the covenant once held together by Leif, or Leif Yorkton. Power armor defense and support defense. Interesting. Look, order. That would be good to do, too. So obviously we've locked ourselves out of the other paths, which is fine with me. Battlefords. Pleasantdale. Where's Battleford? Oh, it's north of us. Oh, hello, Battleford. That would give us quite a bit bigger border. Hmm. So we want to go to war with Battleford? Get more compliance, more speed, organization. And the Great Stampede, too. Power armor, but what? Can we get attacked? Pleasantdale. Gains core, or to Timothy, gains core on them. For we are but men. Well, who do I want to take out first? By God alone. <clears throat> uh, let's see, how strong is Battleford? They don't seem to be very strong. Five to ten divisions, three to five, three to... Oh, Pleasant Dale would be nice. Pleasant Dale sounds like it would be easy to take out, though, first. Uh, you do Psalm 119, 114. You're my refuge, you my shield. I put my hope in your word. Absolutely. And God said, let it be done. And Mr. Mokalover said, thank you to the devs. Oh, hello. After grow decades of governing. Well, look at that. Uh, the Saskatchewan electorate <clears throat> has fallen into complete and utter disarray. Oh boy, not good. Following the recent news of the elections being improperly conducted. The people of Dunder and Pleasant Down student rally for war as each faction vies for complete control of the land. Well, crap. That's really, really not good, especially if we're, on, we're on the border here. If we can, we're going to push through these guys as fast as possible first. Move, guys, move. Yeah, I want to take those, these guys first. That makes no sense to me. <clears throat> can you do this? We're going to find enemy divisions and try to and attempt to encircle them. I want you to keep these guys in place if possible. Just go here. Uh, how about? You are taking a while, which is not ideal, but whatever. Hello. Not ideal. Quite not ideal. Um, Dandy Mercs. Well, we'll take whoever we can get right now. Anything here? We are at war. We're on wasted economy. Again, okay, advisors. Keep these guys in place. Oh, just retreat. It's fine. Why don't you guys hold here? It's fine. Could you do this, maybe? Humboldt? Maybe? Oh, did we get in circle? No, we did not. Not yet. Hey, look at that. Not bad. Just don't die here, please. Please don't die. Help take him out. <clears throat> Should have made more divisions. Good enough for the future. Well, we can't take them out like that. Hmm. You know what? Well, that's the case. We're going to do this. We can let them come in here. Defend, defend. Maybe go there, perhaps? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a nice color. <clears throat> and that's what next. We need more defense. Oh, oh, we changed our flag too. Very nice. Uh, conventional. Yeah. I'm not gonna need this one. Hey, another division in circle. That's nice. Not ideal, not ideal, not ideal. Come on, hurry, kill them off. You hold. That's fine. 
I love our little models. We're actual knights. It's fantastic. Good, we got rid of one at least. It's good. You head here. I need you to head here. Please don't encircle us. That would be really bad for us. Please. Yes. Can you rip and kill them off, please? There's a lot of enemy here. Hmm. Gotta keep an eye on where they're at. Good. Hmm. Yeah, go and hold, hold. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Because at this point, I would rather that we focus together on a single line, like this. And we gotta take these guys up too, so. Keep these guys in place. The name of the game is Encirclement. And we've no commander here. Ah, Daniel, yes. Thank you for joining us, Daniel. Uh, excuse me, yes, please. Uh, be inspirational, anyways. It's fine. And for now, you can become a beloved leader. And... Hmm... I'll be a smooth talker. That'd be nice. Help them out here. It's not much. But it's honest beatings. Good, two divisions will die here. So what, what's going on? We have eight divisions. They have roughly the same amount. Where, can you go here? The faster we can kill these guys off, the faster we can move these guys around. So that's just how it works. Well, we have more divisions too. Oh, another power armor division. Lovely. Help them out. Okay, go in there. All right, uh, I believe in humankind. Oh, a god found on this earth, so too must we protect it. Daniel's doctrines were simple. We're people of God, so uh, we as men of God must uh, do unto them as we would see done unto ourselves. I'm gonna beat the crap out of them, that's right. Anything here? Different? New? Maybe not. We do have power armor, so I do want to throw on the power armor. Speed, breakthrough, a little bit of less hardness. Okay. Yeah. Let's go get Dundurn. That guy's almost dead. We're sacrificing the north for the south, so. Uh, and let's not sacrifice our divisions for divisions. Fine, I'm just beat the crap out of them. Come on. How much more do we really need here? And we got Dunder and yay! Improvise tools. Work is needed. That'd be nice. Good. We've lost 47 versus 300 some. Slowly try to reduce the amount that they have. <clears throat> I hope we can just pick off their most important cities. That'd be nice, yes. If anything, I want you. I love that you're rushing and charging him. Link Lenore. Come on, get in there, and are they cut off? Yes, sir, yes they are. Okay, they completely abandoned this area here, which is fine with us, whatever. I want you to go out of here. I love the 62. A celebration. The couple in charge of the stampede have announced the birth of a child. A nation has been celebrating. The parties can be heard across the prayers, and the citizens joyfully give the news to anyone passing through. That joy of daughter, of John, of the Lockhart clan, and Amy Lee of the Sundell clans have come into the world, and most importantly, the most loving family of all, the stampede. Uh, congrats, I guess. We'd rather see you dead, probably, but, you know, whatever. Keep killing them. We love it when they die. We are essentially here. Just finish these guys off. So we don't have to deal with this later. There you go, nice. Finish them off, please, please, please. Come on, just help them out. Hurry up. Are 
you doing yet? My god. Refine Warfare, good. What is this? Maxwell's own. F? What is F? How are these guys not dead yet? <clears throat> For we are but men. We hide like rats under the eyes of the Elector for many years. It's easy to think, with us now in command of these lands, that we are above such minor idlings as prayer and worship, but in the end, we're just men, but men, playing saints. Our faith is of no falsities, however, just as God places us upon this earth, as follows us and ensures will be enacted, and then beseech the tribes. The tribes within soon have much to offer us in support. Let us offer teething to them in exchange for the finest blood-drinking warriors. Oh, yes, please. Good. Oh, we have two divisions here. Nice. Help, please, just take them out. My god. Can you move fast enough to get in there? Probably not. Oh, you did. Nice. Come on, once we get this division destroyed, it'll be easy to destroy everybody else. And boom. Are they they have armor? Or? I'm not sure what division that is. Good, stay down there. Good. Rats, we don't like rats. Woodworking is nice. More manpower, yes, we definitely need. Oh, Joy returns to the Grey Stables. At long last, Joy's been returned safe and sound to her family Grey Stables. Though the odds in the wasteland never so often go in one's favor. <coughs> Everyone was thankful to hear the good news. My people throwing themselves forward to offer protection, John Lockhart and Amy Lee Sonoka could at last rest easy knowing that no one could ever hurt Joy ever again. There's kinship and hardship. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Alright, get this division off. Uh, we could risk it. We could go, try going here and here and maybe capitulate them. Maybe? How much more do we need? They're almost dead. And this is what I wanted. I want that army XP first, though. So. Allen Hills, huh? Oh, we got encircled ourselves? What the heck? Guys, come on. Do better. Keep these guys in place. Seriously, bro? Alright, go right there. I really can kill off your uh, push forces division. No, go go here. You ding dong. Look at that. Hey, we got dunder. Nice. I'll take this. And that, 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 that. Nope, you get nothing. And we get a ship. Beautiful. <clears throat> ah, I knew that would happen. What do you got here, my friend? Pain train. You are the leader of the heavy forces. Special armor. Um, anything? Any changes here? Idiot savant. Capture equipment ratio. Better supply consumption. I do like that. That seems like a good one for us. Less supply consumption. You capture more equipment. Or get more recon. Or oh, let's recover faster. I like recovering faster first. Mental research, season patriotism. Hmm. Eternal sphere. It's not really worth it for us right now. We're looking to go to well kept, kept army though. I need to go right here. Besiege your tribes, yes. Hawking munitions. Oh, what made Stoon? Saskatoon. Saskatoon has been a haven for brutalities of all sorts of longer than it was ever an actual city before the war. It's easy to forget it when you're drinking wine talking minor politics, however. We gotta end this episode by at least being victorious, right? Oh, the tribals, yay! Bea's brothers. Well, Bea's no longer here, so... Um, 
I'm not sure how much we actually have in terms of... Oh, we do actually quite a bit of infantry armor. Look at that. Don't forget this, too. How many divisions I've got? Up to eight still. Go in. You can probably circle them, in all honesty. Go there, there, there. That'd be nice. Anaheim, very nice. Good to go straight for Pleasantdale, but that'd be too easy, right? Ooh, we're out of manpower. Hey, look at that, another encirclement. Encirclement, encirclement, I love it. I'll put you in circle at Lake Lenore. Also take off Petro Chico, pretty normal. Oh, please don't. Well, that means we're just going this way then. Oh, there's Bodena. Don't mind us, we're just snaking on through here. You know what? You can help kill them off. Go! Got rid of that one division over there. Very nice. A little more manpower would be very good, too. Thank you very much. Happy 2276, everybody. You know what? I love how you're rushing and attacking. It always it almost seems the same. Love it. We'll go to Well Confirm you next. That's good. Very nice. Almost done. And that division will be dead. Cost us quite a, quite a few guys, but that's alright. 108 versus 500. I, I like that casualty ratio. And I'm yes. Good! Pra Paris of the Prairies. Before the nuclear fires ravaged the world, Saskatoon was a thriving place. The largest city than Saskatchewan, coined as a pro pra Paris of the Prairies. When the sun was blocked with a mushroom cloud and the blizzard thickened thrice over, the city fell quiet. Empty. Dead. Within the first few decades following the silence, the people had devolved into tribes. Much of life was spent warring over vague definitions and pointless claims. As they gathered within old churches and banquet halls, their tongues twisted and new languages forming and blending as the tribes merged to this end. Saskatoon changed with its people, becoming Stoon. Over time, others, as others adopted the name and Western Canada devolved into its feudal states, it became Stoon, the seat of the false governments and monsters alike. Though the blizzards had long since thinned, the desperation that drove so much of the populace to cannibalism had now become mere vanity. Common sense was thrown away in favor of desire and avarice. In recent years, Stoon had been famed for its growing industry, industry attempts to rival Dundon. Immense marketability. Uh, ability to navigate the post-modern world with ease. Old blood pathfinding tactics. Stance against the CPF and Eastern Kingdoms. Blood, blood, blood. Ooh. Eastern Kingdoms. Growing industry, mass marketability. Hmm. Because where are we from? For filthy bureaucrats. Eastern Kingdoms. Hmm. Grand Duchy of Saskatchewan. Well, how big is Saskatchewan? I don't know my Canadian geography that well. Where's the west of Manitoba? Because you got the Strath Commune, Lloyd Ministry, Pioneer, Big Grass, Iron Confederacy, Duchy of Langenburg, and the Kingdom of Manitoba. So that's the Saskatchewan over there. Oh, the expanse of the unknown border, huh? Metis, State of Moose Jaw, State of Great Stampede. I mean, it's this way too. And that's Northeast Alberta. Haze of American Hatred, huh? Great Green Glow, the Albertan Steppe. Moncatchewan Expanse. Well, honestly, Grand Master of the Order of St. George. I don't want to do this one because it's old blood and we don't want old blood. Gumption. Grand Student Markets. Well, hmm. this is old blood. This one seems like it's probably a merchant person. Maybe. Doing whatever we can to do that. Mer merchants. Goring Industry. Stance against them. That seems more democracy. That seems like this one. Uh, we'll go with construction speed. Screw it. I don't know. We'll see. Blackout at Memorial. Ooh. Outsourcing of consumer aid. The Wanuskewin Heritage Park. Boomtown. Grand Norden Builders. Oh, we cut back on ca cannibalism too. That should be nice. Blessings. Mm. Hmm. Freedom freedom. I believe in mankind. Just as one faith holds in God, so too must one keep faith in one's own countrymen. Do you suppose them all sinners? No. Do you suppose them heretics by choice or by ignorance? No. 
The unsocialized are the true threat. Those who have not spoken his brother's sister to their neighbor to this end. We must encourage people to love one another as we do our fellow knights. As we shall hopefully finish beating the crap out of our enemies here. It's good for our make speed. Don't get me wrong. I love it. You know what? Yeah, you just keep going. You take whatever you want. The world's your oyster. Thank you for that, but you really suck, so. Very nice. That's good, that's not good. That's good, that's good, this is not good. Hey! Let's go all the way here. Nice. Inspirational awareness sniper. Um, I'm gonna go with Max Nutrition because infantry is good in defense for the most part. Uh, right gear. Tons of right gear. Distraction. What's next? Oh, look at this. Yes. They're gonna need some help here. Especially fighting two of them at the same time. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Very nice. I think we've done this one very, very well, my friends. Hello? Yes. Manifest Saskatchewan. Looks like we have to take out every single tile there, don't we? Come on, we're almost there. I don't want this one. Good. Good. We lost 200 versus 1,000. That's why I love power armor. I believe in mankind, as you should as well. To Timothy, 215. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be shamed, or all shamed, rightfully, all rightly handling the word of truth. Grind out that army speed, my boys and girls. And, uh, Fair Lady's Corina Dream. Fair Lady Corina was an engineer in the employee of the Rosewood. Oh, my bad. Garden. Is it the Garden? Rosewood. Uh. Rosewood Foundation prior to her occupation. Her work in the back since glorious chases has been a major factor in the betterment of the peoples of this dungeon. We must address them sooner ra rather than later, but I think I'll end it there. I think this was a fantastic first episode of us playing as the Oda St. George. Really uh, stoon, and well, we've got a lot more to expand, especially in the north and probably to the Great Stampede. But if you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. It helps me out. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow as we continue to see what we can do with the Oda St. George with the Daniel of Wadena. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of... Your day.